With the campaign heating up and election dates approaching, let's take a quick look at the politics of Bangladesh, its evolution through the years and what it indicates for the future. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on the campaign trail. Hundreds of thousands came out to attend her rallies, just to catch a glimpse of a Prime Minister who is said to have set Bangladesh on a path of economic growth and development. The 7th of January of the coming Sunday is polling day, and all indications are Sheikh Hasina will get a fifth term in office. Opposing Hasina, or rather choosing not to, will be the BNP, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, led by Khalid Azia. The BNP has led massive protests across the country in recent months, demanding that Hasina step aside and let a caretaker government take charge to ensure what they call free and fair elections. Hasina, of course, rubbishes the idea. The free and fair election pitch has tainted Bangladesh's political landscape virtually since the country's formation, perhaps even before that. <laughs> In elections in 1970, when Bangladesh was East Pakistan, the Awami League, led by Mujibur Rahman, won massive support. The Pakistan army had stood in Rahman's way then. His being jailed had sparked the Bangladesh Liberation War. With India's assistance, Bangladesh was finally liberated on December 16, 1971. And in an independent Bangladesh, the Awami League assumed power. Cut to 1973, Bangladesh's first general elections. Again, the Awami League rode the popularity wave to victory. But electoral malpractice allegations had emerged. By late 1974, it had come to Mujibur Rahman having to cling to power. He proclaimed an emergency and introduced a presidential form of government, pushing in single party rule. The anger hit boiling point on the 15th of August, 1975. Mujib was assassinated in a pre-dawn coup, with major political instability to follow. Enter Ziaur Rahman, who became the other big pole in the Bangladeshi political space. Zia became president in 1977, and within 24 hours of taking charge, he called a confidence referendum and elections the very next year. Mujib's restrictions against more than one party were removed, the parliamentary system was restored. Bangladesh saw hopes of democratic functioning again, and Zia was awarded for it. Ziaur Rahman's Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the BNP, won by a landslide. Things seemed to be looking up again for Bangladesh, but it wasn't to last. Ziaur Rahman was assassinated two years later in 1981, and political turmoil was back. In 1982, Lieutenant General Hussein Mohammad Ershad orchestrated another military coup, declaring martial law. Ershad's Jatia party won elections held in 1986, albeit with a thin majority. Here again, election fraud shadows loomed large. Over the next four years, Bangladesh was racked by a period known as the mass uprising. General strikes and campus protest became commonplace. Law and order disintegrated. Irshad had to step down in 1990. Hopes of light again as a non-partisan caretaker government held elections in 1991. They were considered the first free and fair polling exercise the country had seen. There was Sheikh Hasina of the Awami League on one hand, and Begum Khalida Zia, the wife of Ziaul Rahman, on the other. After a neck and neck race, Khalida Zia formed a government. It swung the other way in 1996. Sheikh Hasina got the reins in elections seen as largely fair, and Khalida Zia returned to power in 2001, five years later. After a period of instability under a caretaker government between 2006 and 2008, Sheikh Hasina won elections to become Prime Minister, and this time she was determined not to let go. In 2011, Hasina abolished the caretaker government system, and she has held power since. In elections in 2014 and 2018, Sheikh Hasina has sailed through, snubbing BNP calls for a caretaker government. Yes, there have been cries of unfair practices within Bangladesh and globally too, but Sheikh Hasina has ridden roughshod over it all. 
Little is expected to change for her or for Bangladesh in 2024. Bureau Report, Rian, Wallace